Welcome to the Beast Rider family where social media engagement is encouraged. I am your host, Ryan Sakamoto, and today we are going to be discussing and breaking down this safety position. If you follow me on Twitter, I've been tweeting some stuff out early on in this morning in terms of my grading system and who I have in my top five when it comes to it being an interchangeable safety, being a box safety, or a traditional free safety that can cover corner cover corner that can cover the deep thirds or the deep halves, whether the case may be based on the scheme that they're in. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and break it down brick by brick, step by step, layer by layer, peeling back layers of the onion to get to the core. As I always like to say in all my NFL content videos and analysis and really talk about the topics that really no one is talking about right now. And that is when it comes to the Pittsburgh Steelers, Minka Fitzpatrick, and how he is due to reset the market. Because if you guys remember, not long ago, just a few weeks ago, or a couple weeks ago, whatever the case may be, Jamal Adams recently signed a $38 million guaranteed contract with a four-year $70 million uh, extension with $2 million all over the top and guarantee money. So we're going to go ahead and break it down as to why I believe Minka Fitzpatrick is surely going to reset that market and why even though Jamal Adams has to today reset the market at 17.5 million APY annual per year, Minka Fitzpatrick is definitely going to go ahead and catapult that number. So again, thank you to every each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. Just be sure to turn on and flip on the bell notification so you get notified when we go live or when we upload content. All right, so we're just not going to waste any more time. We're going to go ahead and dive right into it. If you guys are new to following my podcast or my NFL contented videos, I should say, I like to break it down into three parameters. The first parameter is who are the players or coaches involved. The second parameter is why the move was made, or in this case, potentially could be made. And the last but not least parameter is the instant gratification versus long-term gains. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down. I know you guys love these tickers. Let me just go ahead and pull that up for you. All right, so we're talking about Pittsburgh Steelers, Mika Fitzpatrick, right? Well, in order to gauge why I believe he's going to reset the market when you have other guys coming up for new contracts like Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger, who is number one of all safeties in my grading system. And you have guys like Jesse Bates the third, who also plays in the AFC North, who's also in line for a big money contract if the Bengals choose not to resign him or slap the non-exclusive franchise tag, whatever the case may be at season's end. If they opted to let him walk like they did with a few other players like Carl Lawson, who went into the New York Jets, who is now out with a, uh, what do you suffer, a torn Achilles or something like that? Whatever, he's out for the year. Uh, but getting back to it, this particular NFL content video and analysis when it comes to Mika Fitzpatrick, he is the guy who I think is going to ultimately reset the market for a number of different reasons. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and break it down. So in order to do that, let's kind of look at the comparables, right? We talk about the comparables. We all, we've seen it with Fred Warner resetting the market and then Darius Leonard topping that, right? This is kind of the parody league in the NFL. You see Jamal Adams resetting the market, but is he better than Minka Fitzpatrick? No. No, he's not, and this is the reason why. So let's break it down, Jamal Adams, and look at the comparables, right? So Jamal Adams was a one-time first-team All-Pro in 2019, and then he was a two-time second-team All-Pro in 2018 and 2020. Again, he signed that big-money contract, four-year, $70 million contract extension, with $38 million in guaranteed money valued at $17.5 million APY. Now, is he the best safety in the NFL? I just said no, he's not. He's not. Why? Because he can't cover. And when you can't cover in the past happy NFL – you're basically damaged goods at this point because you're only a one trick pony. In fact, I think that Jamal Adams is much more of an outside linebacker than he is a cover safety or a strong safety for that matter. Cause you have to come cover the running backs coming to the flats and even the, so the tight ends running down the seam. So do you think he can keep up with George Kittle? No, but can Mika Fitzpatrick? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So in today's NFL, and I talked about it with my man GM or former GM, Randy Mueller, who is 2000 executive of the year, you need a safety that can be interchangeably both, right? You need a guy who can be a traditional box safety and a guy who can be a traditional uh, free safety, right? You need to be able to do both in today's NFL. You can't simply just be a one trick pony. So I'll include that 
in the description box below so you can see what Randy Mueller had to say in regards to the safety position as we talk about Jamal Adams. But again, you have to be equally effective versus the run in the past, and that way, that's what Minka Fitzpatrick brings to the table. So why do I think he's going to reset the market? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about who Minka Fitzpatrick is. The first parameter was a first-round pick drafted in 2018 by the Miami Dolphins, number 11 over uh, drafted number 11 overall out of the University of Alabama, roll tide roll. And he clocked in at six foot, 204 pounds, ran a 446 uh, 40 yard dash, had a 33 inch vertical jump. And he played out of position during his first couple years or year and a half, or sorry, year and a quarter, I should say, uh, with the Miami Dolphins. He was playing as a traditional box safety. And you're not really taking advantage, advantage of Mika Fitzpatrick's skill set, in my opinion, which is his ability to cover the deep halves, the deep thirds or whatever the case may be based on the cover shell that you're playing on the back end of that defense. So he then requested a trade. He said, you know what? You're not taking advantage of my talents. Chris Greer, GM of the Dolphins. You guys don't know who Chris Greer is. I want to be traded. I want to be traded. I don't want to be here anymore. And uh, Xavier Howard, first team all pro Xavier Howard, not migrating system. But at the time he was like, man, he has balls to go ahead and make that power play move because at the end of the day, it's like, man, you're a rookie. You're on a rookie deal. Speaking of that, he gets shipped out. When it's all said and done, fast forward to today, he goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, as you know, at the time needed safety help because, again, Sean Davis wasn't getting it done, unfortunately. And so here is Minka Fitzpatrick coming in along with a 2020 fourth round pick and a 2021 seventh round pick. The Miami Dolphins GM Kevin Colbert now ships out their first round pick, right? So a 2020 first round pick, a 2022 fourth round pick, and a 2021 sixth round pick. So basically they're swapping late round picks for draft position while just doing a one-off, one-to-one scenario with the first round pick because again, Minka Fitzpatrick was drafted number 11 overall. So again, some power play move by Kevin Colbert because, again, he's not known to make these power play trades, but he's done it, right? You see him do it, and he hits home runs with it. That's why it makes him a top five GM in my grading system. Name a better GM than Kevin Colbert. Maybe Brett Veach, maybe Eric DeCosta from the Baltimore Ravens. Chris Ballard's up there, but not too many. Not too many, all right? And we can argue this back way, uh, uh, back and forth all day, every day. I don't care, but uh, GM Kevin, Kevin Colbert knows what he's doing. And then again, you want to talk about Minka Fitzpatrick. He's the best cover safety in the game today. Next year, he'll be entering the final year of his rookie season because they did pick up his fifth year option. And when you do the comparables, going back to what Jamal Adams was, he's a three-time all pro. Well, look at Minka Fitzpatrick. His sample size is not as great as Jamal Adams because he came out just one year later, but he is a two-time first team all pro in the last two years. Two-time first-team All-Pro in the last two years. And in my grading system, I'm going to go ahead and break it down as to why I believe he's going to be on the rise and do for that big money contract in my grading system. Let's talk about my grading system, right? So in my grading system, the last two years, uh, he was targeted 34 times, gave up 10 completions for 138 yards, one touchdown allowed. All right, one touchdown allowed in the last two years. Name a safety who had that type of stat line. Nobody, as Jim Harwell would say. And if you guys are wondering, what touchdown did he give up, Beast Rider, in your grading system? That was week 14 uh, versus the Buffalo Bills, okay, last year. All right. You, you combine that with nine interceptions, and you have a quarterback passer rating is what you see on the ticker of 14.3, which is tops in the NFL. So you really know what you're getting with Minka Fitzpatrick. You're getting a sound cover corner type of a player who plays safety, but who's also physical enough to stop the run when need when need be, right? Because he, he's very sound in run support, if you guys haven't noticed by now. All right, so no question the Steelers found their quarterback of the secondary for the next four to five years. You don't trade first-round draft picks to watch them leave through free agency, especially all pro talent, right? It just doesn't work that way. GM Kevin Colbert is going to get it done with Mika Fitzpatrick or heads are going to roll with the Steelers fan base. And we don't want to see that happen because – I love Mika Fitzpatrick, not just because I'm a Roll Tide Roll fan, but because I like the Steelers and I like covering the Steelers. And I, I really hope, uh, by the way, Steelers fan base, one of the best, if not the best fan base in all the NFL, no pun intended, or not, I should say no pun intended, but no no disrespect, I should say, to any of the other fan bases. But 
Pittsburgh Steelers, man, I, I love the passion. Uh, Niners are up there as well. Um, but yeah, let's peel back layers of the onion to really get to the core, right? Steelers fans, let's do it. So why should GM Kevin Colbert resign Fitzpatrick long-term? Like, let's look at my grading system, right? Let's continue looking at my grading system in 2020. Let me just pull up that ticker here. All right, here we go. Make sure it's up there. Let's look at my grading system just based on last year's film. All right, so I get coaches film. I run green grades. For those who don't know, I have year-end voting rights for Pro Football Writers Association, and I have a vote. So I take that very seriously. So let's look at Minka Fitzpatrick. Well, he's very funnily sound, like I said, only four first downs allowed last year. He rarely misses assignment, giving up only two 20-plus big plays. All right, so you kind of see where the fundamentals come into play here. And he's savvy enough to help out the boundary cornerback on broken plays, a la Steven Nelson. Uh, that's a different story. Who had a great 2019 campaign and then just whiffed in 2020. But you see what Mika Fitzpatrick kind of helped out on the back end on that area there, wherever Steven Nelson lined up. And he plays the deep well, the deep ball well enough to come up with PBUs more times than not, evident by seven in my grading system. So he's a very instinctive uh, for the position and owns leadership qualities. Kind of like the quarterback of the secondary, much like Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, right? Who I just said is in my system is the best player, best safety overall in my grading system. Uh, but when it comes to the best cover safety, hands down, Minka Fitzpatrick. And again, if you're a free safety, that's your main job. That's your main bread and butter. So he was tied first in the NFL in pass coverage, as you see right here, grading out with an 8.2. All right, tied for first in the NFL. And if you're wondering who he tie with, well, just stick within the AFC North and just look across country, buddy. And you have Jesse Bates the third within the own division, who is also in line for a new big money deal. Top five safety in the NFL, in my estimation, and in my grading system, analytics checkout. All right. So again, we talk about the coverage that Minka Fitzpatrick brings to the table, but we also have to talk about other things. Uh, mainly, we have to talk about the ability that Minka Fitzpatrick has to be an open space tackler, right? And he has four and a half tackle wins, only 10 missed tackles all season. When you add that into what he does on the back end of the defense in terms of his coverage ability, that's well worth the investment of making him the highest paid safety in the NFL. So if Adams being a strictly box safety that commands $38 million in guaranteed money, four years, $70 million contract with $2 million left over in incentives that can balloon up to 72 when it's all said and done. And then you have Fitzpatrick who, do, who can do both equally well versus the run and the pass and be interchangeable. You don't think Kevin Colbert's going to say, you know what? I know Minka, I know you want to be the highest paid safety in the NFL. We're going to make it happen. So Jamal Adams got 38. We're going to give you 40. Jamal Adams got 17.5 million APY. We're going to give you 17.75 APY at least. Right. But Kevin Colbert's not going to obviously uh, lowball him. Right. Cause he wants him. He needs him. He needs them. We don't want another Sean Davis scenario, right? We don't want that on the back end of our defense. So again, this is why my grading system checks out. This is why I believe Minka Fitzpatrick is in line for a big money contract. And again, in today's NFL, you need to be interchangeably able to do both. You need to be able to cover on the back end, but that's also be physical enough to come up and run support. And exactly what Minka Fitzpatrick is, is the protocol prototypical safety that you see in today's NFL. You need that safety on the back end. And if you were to say who's the best free safety in the NFL, if his name is not Minka Fitzpatrick, you don't know what you're talking about. I'll put my analytics and my grading system against anyone, anyone, PFF don't matter. And that's just my thinking. Minka Fitzpatrick, best free safety in, all in the NFL, best cover safety in the NFL, pay that man what he's due. Because again, if you don't, someone else will. But ultimately, Kevin Colbert is not dumb enough. He's smart enough to get that done. Well, that'll be it for this podcast and this NFL content video. If you like what I had to say, please share this video and hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of your screen as you stay up to date on all things Beast. Well, this is great. This is a great video that I wanted to post on my analysis on Mika Fitzpatrick and why he's due for a front-loaded deal just like Jamal Adams was in, getting, in terms of getting guaranteed money and why he is ultimately going to be resigned long-term by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, a friend of mine said, who, who lives in Pittsburgh said, it's not Steelers, it's Steelers. So I'm going to say Steelers from now on. Uh, I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, please share it. Please hit the like button. And again, I really look forward to the comments below. 
So uh, please do that. Also, we are on Discord. If you guys don't know what Discord is, it's a free social media platform, just like Twitter, just like YouTube, just like Facebook and Instagram and so forth. Basically, it's a good way for us to engage with you guys and for me to engage with you guys and talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers along with other NFL teams and in regards to when I'm not posting content. So we do a lot of cool giveaways for the Pittsburgh Steelers fan base along with other things. So join us on Discord. I'm going to go ahead and include that in the description box below where you can follow us and, and put up all my social media outlets on there. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this NFL content video and analysis in my grading system regarding Minka Fitzpatrick as he will reset the market. Making this bold prediction, he will be the one to reset the market when it's all said and done and be the highest paid safety in the NFL in terms of APY. Thank you for thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good day. Beast Rider out.